he wants so badly to just be set free and just run and not feel this heavy, heavy weight on him at all times. He has this hot spot along the back is what I call it. Um, it's hard to know what it started from. We're here today in Kalamazoo, Michigan to help local law enforcement authorities with a large dog fighting operation. At this point, there's uh, 34 dogs um, that we found that's consistent with a uh, dog fighting operation. The walls have blood splatters that you can see in the red. What they'll use is to tease the dogs and, and just get them you know, good at biting. You can see that the bottom of it has been chewed up and, and ripped apart and bit up pretty good. We so far have found a massive amount of blood, uh, even being able to show areas where dogs have brushed up against the wall um, where they were fighting. We used Blue Star, which is a reagent to determine whether or not there is blood in an area. <laughs> oh, he got better. He got better. Right now, the dogs are being removed from their chains and being examined by veterinarians so that they can document the scarring and the injuries that the dogs have, and then they'll be transported to a temporary shelter where they'll be receive more veterinary care and lots of TLC from volunteers. Good boy. Yeah. Good kisses. Oh, puppy kisses. Come on. You waiting in the chair a little bit?